Hello and welcome to Stockwatch, presented by me, Evan Lucas, for Go Market Securities. As always, please, a very good read-through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature. None are excited upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none are it's relied upon as any form of advice at all. It is just general in nature only. Temple and Webster, there's been lots of questions from you guys out there, which is great to see around this company. And the results that it's looking away is that it's hard to fault. If you have a look at what Temple and Webster delivered in their first half revenue and EBIT, it was a beat versus consensus by 1% and 23% respectively. Sales growth is accelerating in the second half, or even with tougher compositions. Sales growth is tracking towards the top end of their revenues and margins were at the top end of their guidance. That is why it is hard to fault in terms of what Temple and Webster are doing. There was some concerns, we're seeing a CFO transition and there's an argument in particularly in equity world that actually the CFO is slightly more important than the CEO. But in saying that it appears to be a fairly planned and orderly transition with Mark Taylor moving on to an alternative role inside Temple and Webster. So that you know can possibly go against it. But as I said, the key metric, active customers are now 975,000. That's a really massive increase in what you've seen it. Average revenue per user did decline. That might be a slight negative, down 2.5%. So the average revenue per user currently sits at 460 Australian dollars per purchase. It's pretty reasonable for what it is in terms of what it is. Overall, you look at sales growth, 35% year on year. That is also quite impressive with regards to the cost of living crisis we've got going, discretionary spending on the back burner in terms of particularly people under 50. Overall, this is a very, very positive result from Temple and Webster, and that should definitely be explained very strongly in terms of what they're doing. So well done to them, and no doubt the market will look at this very closely, but probably give it a pretty decent tick of approval.